big car. I thought I held all the cars. I thought I could pick the winner every time. I thought I could smell it. But the whole thing was built on garbage. I treated my wife badly, and I knew it, and I didn't stop. One day, she walked. She took my daughter with her. I started gambling big time. Crazy stuff. Long shot stuff. I turned into the kind of man I'd grown up hating, making the big bucks and being made a partner wasn't enough to buy that off. I'm just kind of starting from scratch and trying to keep things low pressure. Back here. No, no, 
Oh, uh, just some fruitcake, honey. World's oh, full of them. I am not Nolene. Please talk to me, Nolene. And then it's going to be the Tanya. She won't. Okay, we are. I got so great. I for today. Well, you got the cassette from Brewster with the song on it in your voice, and you got the affidavit as to when he received it. You got proof that Dorsey Ledbetter had access to it. It works to music. You got two pair, maybe three of a kind. What did they got? They got the resources to stay at the table for years, and they know we've only got this one shot. They don't want to settle. It's going to be tough. What do you mean, settle? I'm pay you a certain amount to go away. And not put my name on the song, but that's just like a bribe to shut me up. Do you look at it that way? What I want is for them to say in public how I wrote it. That's all. You gonna back me up on this no matter how ugly it gets? Oh, hell, there's probably just a bunch of yokels and thousand dollar suits. There's a problem. There's a problem. You get this feeling back in these tones. Now, what's this all about? A song my client wrote was stolen by Dorsey Ledbetter and published and recorded on your label. Possible, so. So I wrote it, Mr. Rose. I want anybody to know that. Cal's out of the barn, sweetheart. That single's been on the market for three weeks. So you're an accessory to the theft. Oh, well, that's a strong word, theft. You think you can prove that? I can prove he had access to a tape my client made prior to you buying the song. Give him 2000 get a release. But, Mr. Oates, they I don't want no people. damn 2000 Well, what do you want? You're including the single on Nolene Price's album, right? Your office said it goes to the stores next month. We want the compulsory mechanical payments, five cents per record manufacturer. <laughs> We're only paying Dorsey a half a cent. You took 90% of his publishing rights? He's been out to see Dorsey lately. He's not much of a bargaining position now, is he? That stinks. Well, it's a business, sweetheart. Now, I suppose you could try for a writ of attachment to get the court to hold those proceeds in escrow until a trial. Of course, we always seem to win in these cases anyway. And there is a downside for you. You ever hear of abusive process, Shannon? It's the law's way of dealing with shakedown artists like you. What do you mean by that? I could lose my life. You can't risk that. It's a bluff, Lydia. Forget it. We got this guy, music professor up at Amherst, testifies for us all the time. Says this whole theft thing's useless anyway because there's only five basic country melodies to begin with. Two of them written by Dorsey Ledbetter in the 50s. And as for lyrics, well, <laughs> how many words rhyme with arms? He's right about that. It's your place, Shannon. You're doing a pretty big sell on this Nolene Price album. Comeback story and all? You know, we're shipping 100000 to start. If there were a sudden controversy because her hit song turned out to be a ripoff, articles in the music press, legal action, Goliath versus David, that kind of bad publicity, you might have to eat a lot of plastic. Half cent a record and we use your testimony to cut Dorsey off. Two cents. And her name goes on the jacket. Too expensive. That jacket's already been printed. This is extortion. I'd hate to have to put Nolene Price on the witness stand. The press there and everything? No, you wouldn't do that. Try me. You wouldn't do that. I wouldn't let him. I can't go through with this. I'm real sorry I wasted your time. Any more threats, Shannon? You should have taken the two grand, buddy. That record's this, and I'll be worth a lot more than any publisher. She wrote that song. Of course she did. Dorsey Ledbetter hasn't written a good check in 15 years, much less a good song. I'm just looking forward to getting back out there on the road and not keep my fingers crossed and hope that uh, the public's willing to give me a second chance. Well, you deserve one. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all come see me tonight. It was nice to meet you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi. 
I'm not supposed to be talking to you. That's all right. Oh, hell. Come on in, Sam. I ain't crazy, you know. <laughs> I've been crazy, and you ain't nowhere near it. Where are you from, anyway? Nankapoo, Tennessee. <laughs> Nankapoo, Tennessee? <laughs> I played there once. I know. I was drunk. You was? I thought you was just being dramatic. <laughs> uh -huh. Um, won't you play me something? Oh, no, I couldn't. No, I ain't much of a singer. <laughs> well, you're a songwriter. Well, <laughs> so play me something. darling since she came out with her first number one single you all remember this delta dawn she was at the tender age